It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. Well, it would be nice to know which one it is. Oh, was it this one? Asshole. The gate was locked tight. It wasn't my house. Yes, yes, yes. The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out. As if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Yeah, sure. The envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath, tore it open. The letter read, Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did, well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out, away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him, Norman. So don't you think you can hold that against me. I'm going to tell him and get past this. Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I even want to, but it deserves at least that much. Goodbye. Mmm! What little of a plot there might be is a little bit thicker. I had the wrong gate, okay, and it should be this one. Oh shit, hold up, hold up, hold up, I had entered our backyard, okay. The ring gave me a terrible sense of for- yeah, you're telling me. And it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Oh god damn it, I never did fix this gate, it was stuck. I needed to press on, there was no point turning back at that point. So even if I saw blood on the front gate, I'm not, oh, I don't know if that's blood or if it's just a different type of texture. I held my breath as I approached my, our, back door. I was terrified to step inside. But I pressed on. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. I flicked the light switch by the door, but the power was off. The table was clean. It hadn't been used any time recently. The door to the basement. It was locked. Where had I put that damn key? There was a small pile of mail on the floor, in front of the mail slot. How long I had been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? I have a credit problem! The front door was locked from the inside. I didn't- I couldn't go out though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. I was online gambling and buying Steam games. Oh, the irony. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Let's go inside this room. Oh, there's something on the floor. An old photo of Rachel and me stared. Wait. An old photo of Rachel and me stared back at me, reminding me of better times. If I, if it didn't make me feel better. Uh, Jesus Christ, where am I going with some of these readings? It didn't make me feel terribly com yeah, comfortable. Did I take it anyway? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm stupid and I don't know how to read because I'm dyslexic. Dyslexic. Exectix. I replaced a photo in my wallet, feeling like I had got a part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Hmm, why did he throw it away? Our television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterward, but by then it was too late. Yeah, that flat screen! Yeah! Credit problem! Credit problem! Alright, let's keep going into this little hole of whatever. On that note, alt tab. That... The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole. 
underneath the handle. So I guess I'm heading up to the roof, or the top floor of the attic. I'm gonna make us a personic man out of you. The books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I, now that I look more closely, it looked like that man in the house had some of the same books I did. My wife's, Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed, but I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it anyways? Yep. Rachel's suitcase contained clothes, toiletries, and a train ticket. Is this what you were going to do with Norman? No, she said she wanted to run away for a little while. She, she didn't wanna... She didn't wanna... One book in particular seemed a bit odd. I don't remember owning it. I remembered owning it, but not that edition. Ooh. Ooh. That, that would cause a, a real bookworm to stir. Ooh. Our hallway mirror had been smashed, its pieces scattered across the floor. Our sink, which needed to be replaced. One of the taps always got stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of blood in this area. Let's go. Oh, my computer. My laptop had been left on, and only a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Sure did. Alright, so he was fascinated about the water... This doesn't... I'm just trying to figure out who the, the man and his wife were. That's all I'm trying to figure out right now. I don't care about everyone else. Nope. So it looks like I have to go to the front door? Hmm. Yeah, 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 I understand, but where is... where does this key go to? Is there a way to see my inventory to, like, try and figure this out? Because, yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, no, this goes to the front of the house. So... I'm gonna go back up to my laptop. Fuck this. Did I go this way yet? Yes, I did. My second edition books. So what am I forgetting? There's a bathroom. And then here's this. Laptop was warm. It had been running for a while. Okay, do I have... So I have a key to an area I have no idea. Let's go back down to the second floor. You're locked. And then there should be another room over here. I don't know. Yeah, this one's fine. Wait, was there one up top? Yeah, there was one up top with the bedroom. So... Bottom floor? There should be something to the right. Ah, there is one to the right. The basement. I forgot about that. There were old Christmas decorations in the box. Our garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take it? Sure did. I took this little key and tried to remember what it was unlocked. Well, I think I know. I tried that one like four frickin' times. There were old, clo uh, old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I had put up this divider wall last summer so we couldn't create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. So, looks like I'm on a quest to go grab something that breaks shit. Upstairs, to the right. The grimy key I found in the basement unlocked the door. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Somebody break in here? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need it to take the crowbar? 
Yes, I took the crowbar. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciated its weight. Well, back downstairs to the basement. I don't know if this is foreboding or if it's just trying to pad out a little bit, not a hell of a lot. But the atmosphere is still there. I, I, no more jump scares, however, so. I mean, with the lights out, it's kind of. The crowbar I found would have been strong enough to bust through the cheap wall. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yeah, sure. With the heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Don't. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile, to see what, what lay within, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all the searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel. Wait, 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 wait. Is it one of those questions where if I say no, He'd be like, oh no, I just found like a bunch of dead rats. Or if I say yes, he'd be like, yes, I found my Rachel. See, this is kind of, this is, this is one of those things that could turn the tide of this game. Yes, I found That's it. That's neat and all butt nugget, but I'm gonna go do something. I mean, I need to sleep. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here? Wait. What? Okay. You go off to bed, man. I'll continue this. This is good. Okay. See you in like one, two, three hours or so. Yeah, man. See ya. Yep. Back to the story. Maybe I would use some of Rachel's travel books and find some place to go. It was my wallet, with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff, or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman's store, that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? Yes, I was. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? Can I pick up my wallet? There, that was decided. This was that old photo that the other man and his wife, I presumed. I found it in that house. I recalled those faded remains I found in the deep underneath of his house. What had he... What had he done there? Well, did I... What did I think? Was that man involved in this whole mess somehow? He should've. He could've. Definitely. Those tunnel, the odd tools, and the remains of his wife. He wasn't innocent, that's for sure. Within the few broken pieces that remained of the mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. It was the key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It seemed to me that it was probably Norman's, but if that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Hmm... No. No. Somebody else was using that locker room, but who? The laptop had finally run out of power. Oh. Well. Thanks for the heads up, guys. Alright. Let's get into the bathroom. The reflection in that grimy glass was only a shadow. A whisper. I still love the old time charm of that cloth for the bathtub. Though it seemed like it could... Like cold comfort then. Hmm. 
Yeah, this mystery isn't making too much sense to me. Let's head downstairs. Start doing some inspections. Alright, so this is what my my comfort rooms from now on. I'd have no one to get angry with me for this for stupid things like buying this TV. What about Steam games? My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. It used a digital passcode lock. Did I try and open it? Sure. The safe used an HDJ code. What was that damn code again? I have no... No. That wasn't it. Damn. I couldn't remember. Hmm. Looks like I gotta go find the safe combination. No. I might need to grab like a piece of paper or something. <laughs> it seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. The mail still sat there, heaped under the floor. How long had Rachel... Wait! Was she found in the basement? Wait, 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 Was she actually found here? Ready to face the truth. It was the knife I found in the sewers. I left it here because I didn't want it near me anymore. Was all this my fault? Was I responsible for Rachel's death? If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Yes. Yeah, hmm. Took it firmly in my hand. I couldn't go back into that room again. Well, how am I supposed to find out the truth? I needed to put an end to the situation, one way or another. So, so what do I do? I must have locked the door. There was no reason to return to the backyard anyway. God, I don't... There will be no more dinners here. No more chit-chat over breakfast. At least, not for us. Hmm. Let's try the front door. That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and say goodbye to that nightmare forever? Sure. Since I'd arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in that plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had start, started sleepwalk, sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with it. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain in its own game. Things stopped making sense after some time. After that. And my memories of what happened are still in the flux. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me. Even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths. But I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man I had found in that house had something to do with all this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem that were the too many things I had seen to think otherwise. The forest, especially, was a difficult maze, and if I would rest easier if I never saw its like again. Whatever had happened, I knew it was at least Norman was. I knew that at least Norman wasn't the one who kept going back to the factory. I hoped it meant that he had nothing to do with that guard's violent end. 
But who had been rooting through those lockers, or drinking in that boarded up room? I had to catch my breath, to take it all in. Up until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then I had seen something I had would never expect. When I went to Norman's store, that's when my perspective on all things began to change. Norman was dead, but I had no idea what happened to him. Finding Rachel's things at his store, though, it was an ultimate shock. I would get no answers now, but it didn't stop with my head reeling all these questions. But that was but as painful as all that was. I didn't like saying all. Oh god, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had done, and all I have seen, finally coming home was supposed to be the end to this entire ordeal. God help me though, it was only the beginning. As I swung up the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again, cold and inert, shook me from head to toe. What would I do now? Who could I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved. Before the neighbors knew. The front lawn was soft and giving beneath my feet. And I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. That was home. A great little uh, indie horror game that I got off a bundle a little while back and uh, never really had a chance to play it. A um, few jump scares here and there, and I gotta say the story was great. It seemed like it didn't have much to start with, but it it really unfolded. Um, but it really makes me wonder: was that the true ending? Was that another ending that you could just get? Uh, what was in that safe? Uh, from what I understand that there was a collector edition that had everything all a part of it. Home is dedicated to my wife Nancy. Watch your back. <laughs> but um, the collector edition might have had something to do with the, the code. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, hopefully I actually finish another one of my uh, Let's Plays if ever. Share your story. I'm going to go do this right now. This actually sounds like a good idea. Have a good night.